Hi guys, Adventure Max here. Today we're going to explore the underwater world of the tropical Atlantic. So get your mask and snorkel on and let's see what we can find. Let's go. Caribbean blue tang, also known as the Atlantic blue tang, blue tang surgeon fish, and simply the blue tang, has an oval body with bowl markings that change as the fish matures from juvenile to adult. A juvenile is bright yellow with two blue bands at the eyes. When mature, the blue become even brighter with markings running horizontally along the entire body and the whole fish will turn completely blue. The blue tang fish is found near large groups of coral. These fish normally swim around in schools and their diet consists of eating plankton and algae, which makes them omnivorous fish. These fish are a big part of keeping the corals alive and eating away algae from them. Blue tangs, like all surgeon fishes, use these spines to defend against predators. They erect the sharp spines in an effort to make themselves harder to swallow or to inflict injury on their predators. Sergeant Majors earn their name from their brightly striped sides known as bars, resembling military stripes. They're also called Abudeftef saxatilis. This fish feed upon the larvae of invertebrates, zooplankton, smaller fish, crustaceans, and various species of algae. They're also known to feed on the waste and vomit of spinner dolphins. Sergeant Majors also clean green sea turtles with doctor fish and blue tangs. It is of interest to public aquarium facilities for coral reef display tanks and is attractive to divers who feed fish. The range of the Sergeant Major is worldwide in warm waters. In the Atlantic Ocean, this fish occurs from Rhode Island, United States, to Uruguay. It is quite abundant on Caribbean sea reefs as well as around islands in the Mid-Atlantic region. The cushion sea star or starfish is the most common sea star seen. They have thick arms and come in a variety of colors. The number of legs is usually five, but occasionally you will see one with six legs. This species is most common in the shallow waters of the Caribbean. The cushion sea star can grow up to half a meter in diameter. Can you believe that? That's huge! Depending on food availability. It can move approximately 12 to 33 centimeters per minute. Sea stars do not have a blood system, rather a water vascular system. Sea water is pumped into the body through its sieve plate. Sea star prey on small mollusks, fish, snails, and barnacles. Most starfish can lose an arm from damage or to avoid being eaten by a predator. Not only survive losing an arm, but most types of starfish can grow their arm back. There are four types of this distinctive coral in the Caribbean. The boulder brain coral is the largest and most common and an important reef building species. It can grow to a truly enormous size, forming large domes, boulders, and thick encrusting plates. The common name for this coral is the boulder brain coral because of its size. As the coral dies and the tissue recedes, the skeleton remains behind, adding rocky structure to the reef. This makes the boulder brain coral one of the most important reef building species. To some fish, algae is a food to them, and they keep the brain corals clean by eating away algae so the corals don't get overgrown. Alright my friends, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, please consider commenting down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you learned something new. Bye!